So uh, I'm just going to go through these one by one for you guys. The main important thing, first thing, is when we're doing this, um, I want you guys to graph them as well as go ahead and identify them. So if you guys look at the formulas that I have written down there, u plus v is equal to the component form of u1 plus v1 comma u2 plus v2. So basically all I'm simply going to do is do 3 plus negative 2 comma negative 1 plus 1. Okay, so therefore 3 plus negative 1 is going to give me with a negative 1 and then negative 1 plus uh, 1 is going to give me a 0. So remember since this is in component form, component form we start at 0 and then we're going to end at 1. Or sorry, negative 1, right? Yeah, negative 1. That's positive 1. I was right. So it's 1 comma 0. Okay. Now, I want to kind of show you guys a little bit of how this works or how I know my answer is right or wrong. And the one the way that we can do that is we could also graph these separately. So what we could do is we could graph the vector u, which is 3 comma 1. So we could do 3 comma negative 1. I'm sorry, you're right. 3 comma negative 1. And then you could graph v, which is negative 2, 1. <laughs> so that's u. And actually, let's do v like this. So when I combine, when I add the black vector plus the red vector, I get the green vector. Now, you might agree with me or not agree with me, but one way that you can show this is what we call tail to head with your graphing, or also called the parallelogram method. So what we do is if you graph one vector, u, then what you're going to do is take the tail. Tail would kind of be the behind, right, where the head would be the top. Take the tail of your other vector and then add it to the head of your previous vector. So what, if, what would happen if I went over to left up one from here? Over to up 1. So what you guys would see, if I put my one vector